If you've been using Blender for any amount of time, you're probably aware that Blender's normal map implementation does not look great. So when I connect this normal map up to the normal input of this principal BSDF, we can see that, yeah, some of these details are being transferred over, but a lot of these areas look really soft and almost like fuzzy compared to the ground truth high poly version of this asset, uh, which has these very crisp details in these regions. Uh, we're just getting none of that. When we zoom out, it looks soft, it looks weird. This one is just obviously better looking. The solution to this is actually very simple. It comes from weird default settings with Blender. In the Material Properties tab here, in the Settings folder, if you open up the Surface subfolder, you'll find this checkbox labeled Bump Map Correction. It's turned on by default. All you have to do is turn this off and we can see our bump maps look a lot better, uh, just a million times better. When we zoom out, this looks almost like an identical asset, uh, obviously a little bit different considering this one is literally millions of polys and this is just a couple thousand, but it's totally workable. So I have three spheres here. These left two are using the displacement in the material output node, uh, just connected to a displacement node here. And the only thing different is the displacement type, which is set to bump only on this left one, and then displacement and bump on this middle one. So this serves as kind of our ground truth, like perfect displacement version. So immediately we see that the bump node looks a lot, or the, the bump sphere looks a lot closer to the actual look of the displacement and this normal map sphere, which is the same noise texture connected to a bump node connected to the normal input of the principal BSDF. This just looks kind of wrong. Um, but when we disable the bump map correction, now it looks identical to the bump on the left, right? So why is this enabled by default if it looks so much better with it off? And the reason is because of these sharp lines at the shadow terminator. The shadow terminator is where the uh, surface crosses into the uh, unlit regions, the regions in shadow from the regions uh, that are being directly lit. So it creates this harsh line and this is undesirable for sure. You can see it's not here in the displaced version, but the thing is that these uh, shadow lines are often pretty much invisible or at least negligible in um, most scenes. It's only really a problem in these test scenes. So the normal map correction does eliminate these seams there at the consequence of making the shading of the rest of the sphere look a lot worse in comparison. So that is it for me. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, maybe. Uh, maybe join our Discord server. We're trying to get to 5,000 people. We are currently at like, what, 3,700? So getting there. Uh, anyways, bye.